Hi, today we are super excited to announce the public preview release of the new MySQL extension for Azure Data Studio. If you've been working with databases for a while now, then you probably already know all about Azure Data Studio. For those of you who are new to it, Azure Data Studio is that single tool from which you can connect to multiple databases across data platforms. It could be SQL, it could be Postgres, Cosmos, and so on, and across cloud deployment models. That is, that server could be hosted on premises on your local machine, on VMs, on Azure, other clouds as well. Now, over the past couple of years, the one feature that most of the Azure Data Studio users have been requesting was for a MySQL extension. So we took that feedback, went back, worked on it, and today we are releasing the public preview of a MySQL extension for Azure Data Studio. With this extension, you can connect to MySQL hosted anywhere, on premises, on VMs, on Azure, on other clouds, or even on our fully managed MySQL database as a service, that is Azure Database for MySQL Flexible Server. And with that, you can get to enjoy all the capabilities of Azure Data Studio, especially features like IntelliSense, Jupyter Notebooks, Code Snippets, Integrated Terminal, Source Control Integration, and so on. So go ahead, download the Azure Data Studio if you don't have it already, install the MySQL extension, and try out this new feature functionality. Currently, this extension is only available in the Insiders build, but it will be available in the next stable build pretty soon. Now, let me first show you a quick demo of this new tooling. So the first step is to download the Azure Data Studio Insiders build. Once downloaded, open the Azure Data Studio, go to the Extensions icon, and search for MySQL extension. You can find all the details of the extension right here or navigate to the repository using this link. So go ahead and click on install. Once the installation is complete, go to the connections tab and open a new connection. As you can see, you can connect to any database server from right here, depending on the extensions you have installed. Let's select MySQL for now and enter all the database credentials. If your server requires SSL encryptions, use the Advanced tab to configure it. So choose the right SSL modes. And for Verify CA and Verify Identity modes, also provide the SSL certificates. Apart from SSL, these are the other advanced properties that you can configure. Now, you can either choose the database that you want to directly connect to or leave it blank to connect to the server scope. Point to note, you get to change the database scope later on as well. Now that the connection has been established, you can see all the server databases, of course, based on your access level. You can open a new query or notebook from here, or you can scroll down to your database and open it from individual databases. One other option is to navigate to your database or table from the servers pane and work with your data from here. Now, let's open a new query and perhaps create a new database. Click on Run. You may need to refresh the databases to see the changes. Now, use this dropdown to select a database to run queries in a specific database context. Or you can also use the GUI to say view the top 1000 rows of a data in a table. You can view the results here, export the data to Excel, CSV, JSON, XML, or even visualize it using charts. Now, a couple of other interesting things we have for you. Apart from the ever useful IntelliSense, we also have code snippets. Just type MySQL or SQL to view a few ready-made code snippets that you can reuse. Just select them, edit them, and run. Then we've got Jupyter Notebooks. Notebooks help you create and share documents with code, narrative text, and visualizations. You can change the kernel uh, to, say, Python, Spark, PySpark, etc. And with the SQL kernel, you can also change the attached server. Two other cool features for those who are connecting to Azure Database for MySQL. You can easily navigate to deploy a new flexible server. Click on New Deployments search for Azure Database for MySQL, 
and click on create an Azure portal. So this will take you directly to the flexible server deployment page on Azure portal. Next, go to this Azure section below, navigate to your subscription and you can actually view all your flexible servers from here in real time. Additionally, you can click on this connect button, which will open a new connection with server details auto populated for you. Ensure that the server is accessible from your environment, configure properties and simply click on connect. So you can add multiple connections to multiple servers across database platforms, across clouds and manage it all from the single tool. That was just a short demo showing the key feature functionalities of this new extension. I'd really urge you to go through our announcement blog at aka.ms MySQL ADS blog and our quick start in Microsoft Learn documentation at aka.ms MySQL ADS to learn more. So go ahead and try out this new extension and let us know your feedback at the email ID mentioned here. Thank you.